A month after a coup d'etat in Niger, the U.S. military is said to have resumed its operations, flying drones and other aircraft out of air bases in the country. Since the July coup, the 1,100 U.S. forces deployed in the country have been confined inside their bases. According to General James Hecker, the top Air Force commander of Europe and Africa, some intelligence and surveillance missions have been able to resume through U.S. negotiations with the junta. Sources say some military personnel and assets had been moved from the airbase near Niamey, the capital, to another in Agadez, about 920 kilometers apart. The U.S. forces in Niger have as mission to help the Nigerian forces combat Islamic extremist movement that over the years have seized territory, killed civilians, and fought the armed forces. It should be noted that these bases are a critical part of America's overall counter-terrorism efforts in West Africa. France, on the other hand, has approximately 1,500 soldiers in Niger. But it should be recorded that Niger's military leaders have called for the withdrawal of the French military from the country as it remains an ally of the ousted President Mohamed Bazoum.